ठीक है लाइटनिंग सबको नजर आ रहा है पैरोटेड की स्वेलिंग नजर आ रही है स्टार्ट है Today we will uh, do the examination of the parotid swelling. Uh, it's better to call it a swelling in the left side of the neck in the parotid region, a swelling in the parotid region. So the command is the examine the swelling on the left side of the uh, face of this patient and do the relevant systemic examination. So. This is the swelling present on the left side of the face of this patient. Following the same sequence of the examination, uh, introduction and consent, proper exposure, then chevron, then the components of the examination of this swelling, then say thank you to the patient and cover the exposed area. Percussion and auscultation is not done in the case of parotid swelling. How will you come to know that this is the parotid swelling? The swelling that is present in the region of the parotid gland and the swelling which is raising the ear lobe, yeah, ear lobule. Any swelling present in the region of the parotid gland and raising the ear lobe it is parotid swelling until or unless ruled out otherwise. So these are the points in the favor of this parotid swelling. Before starting the examination, let me tell you the points or the parts of the examination in the parotid swelling. First of all, inspection and then palpation. After uh, palpation, examination of the temporomandibular joint then examination of the facial nerve it is part of the parotid swelling examination then examination of the oral cavity to look for the deep lobe involvement and to look for the status of the stension duct then at the end examination or history of the other parotid glands, rest of the parotid glands. These are the parts uh, of the examination of the parotid swelling. So let's start. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Tayyab. I am the surgery the team. I am the head of the chair. I am the head of the chair. So that I can get the help of the patient. My goal is to cut the pain. After that, Proper exposure. What is the proper exposure in the case of this swelling in the parotid region? Idly till the levels of the clavicles. Sir, I need proper exposure uh, uh, for the examination of this swelling up till the clavicles. Uske baad, ask for a chevron. Although it is uh, not important because I am not going to examine any private area of this patient, but as the part of the protocol, you should demand for the chevron. I am a male examiner, patient is female, I will ask for the chevron. What are the components of this uh, inspection in this case? Sight, size, shape, surface and dimensions. First of all, whenever there is pair, always compare. So on general inspection, look at the swelling itself and also look on the contralateral side. Ye mobile mein dono sides ko dikhana hai. So note that there is no other swelling on the contralateral side and it is present on the this side. Then you have checked that it is raising the ear lobule so it is the swelling which is originating from the parotid gland region then 
note the shape of this swelling it is kind of spherical in shape overlying skin is normal there are no visible pulsations veins any scar mark of the previous surgery and there are no skin discoloration and then having a general look over the facial symmetry you can see that the facial symmetry of this patient is normal so it means there is no involvement of the facial nerve facial uh, muscles are normal so uh, if this swelling uh, could have been the malignant one then there is the involvement of the facial nerve it leads to the asymmetry of the face we will do the uh, facial nerve examination then i will tell you that what to look for during the examination of the facial nerve okay so after a proper inspection then we will go for the palpation before palpation ask the patient for any tender area or painful area and and ask her to let me know if there is any pain in this swelling during the palpation start with temperature and tenderness then surface for uh, nodularity or bosselated surface or smooth surface then edges of the swelling then overlying skin pinchability then mobility of the swelling in two dimensions whether it is mobile or not or adherent to the underlying structures then compressibility then fluctuation these are the components of the palpation during the examination of the parotid swelling so let's start hath laya dard nahi hai check the temperature first at the normal area then at the swelling itself check at two different sides and check the temperature with the back of your hand then the palpation to check the surface of this swelling it is smooth surface it has well defined margins check the margins all around then the overlying skin pinchability i have already checked the consistency of the swelling it is firm in consistency mobility from side to side and up and down you can see that it is mobile swelling then check the uh, compressibility or reducibility this is a non compressible swelling and it is non fluctuant check the fluctuation of this swelling stabilize the swelling with the middle fingers of the two hands and press from one side if the swelling is fluctuant by pressing with the one finger the other finger is lifted that is not in this case so this swelling is not fluctuant always take it in centimeters and keep this measuring tape straight for example these are the dimensions of the swelling so you should take the size in this manner it is 5 cm in this di dimension take the impression of the size in this dimension and measure it it is around 5.5 cm in this dimension so this is the way you take the size you don't take the size in this way it is wrong take it in a straight pattern so this is a uh, 5 into 5.5 cm swelling now coming towards the uh, rest of the relevant examination of this swelling checking the movement of the temporomandibular joint ask the patient to open her mouth and close the mouth if the joint movements are intact we will uh, comment that the Uh, movements of the ipsilateral temporomandibular joint are not restricted mouth khol ke na band karna hai sara pura mouth kholo dobara band karo dobara kholo band karo ye jod nikal janda hai chalo theek hai isme ek feature hai main aapko baad mein batata hu in case you are suspecting this is a lymph node pre auricular lymph node that is not obviously in this case but in case you have this differential in your 
mind that this is pre auricular lymph node then check the skin of the scalp for any wound that is the draining area of this lymph node then cervical lymphadenopathy in case this is malignant swelling then you need to check the regional lymph nodes i will tell you that what are the features of malignancy in parotid swelling that is not in this case you can omit the step of lymph cervical lymph node examination and you can tell the examiner in this defense that sir i am not uh, suspecting this a malignant swelling that's why i didn't do the cervical lymph node examination so starting from the level 1a submental lymph nodes level 1b some mandibular lymph nodes then level 2 upper cervical lymph nodes level 3 middle cervical lymph nodes level 4 lower cervical lymph nodes level 5 posterior cervical lymph nodes level 6 pretracheal and prelaryngeal lymph nodes and repeating the same on the opposite side level 2 3 4 5 theek hai so i didn't find any lymphadenopathy in this case so what are the features of malignancy in a parotid swelling there are some points which are uh, the part of the history and some points which are part of the examination on history if the swelling has rapid increase in size it is of very short duration and it is painful and on examination you find that the swelling has overlying skin changes like visible veins ulcer discharge and the swelling is having hard consistency it is adherent to the underlying structures and there is obvious facial deformity due to the involvement of the facial nerve and you find the cervical lymph nodes all these features suggest the malignant involvement or malignancy in this swelling if all these features are present so the, these are the points which you can use to defend your case if examiner asks you what are the points which are not favor in the malignancy in this case you will tell all these points or if you find any one of the point Uh, among which i told you then you can tell the examiner sir these are the points in favor of malignancy which is in this case so after the uh, cervical lymph node examination examination of the oral cavity what things to look in the oral cavity look at the oral hygiene overall then look for the uh, bulge in the region of the parotid area for the deep lobe involvement you can see that there is no bulge then look for this tension duct you can look for this tension duct opposite to the second molar teeth here you can see the opening of this tension duct then the bimanual palpation palpate the gland bimanually like in this manner if the gland is palpable bimanually then it it means there is no involvement of the deep lobe as well should know the names of the branches of the nerve and you should know the relevant uh, examination relevant muscle function uh, uh, as per each nerve branch temporal zygomatic buccal marginal mandibular and cervical so these are the five branches inke function kya kya temporal movement of the temporalis frowning then zygomatic opening the closed eyes against resistance that was the function of the kaun sa muscle hai orbicularis oculi then buccal to check the uh, function of the buccinator ask the patient to uh, uh, fill the air in her mouth and tap if there is leakage of air muscle weakness it means muscle weakness then the marginal mandibular chin chin movement against resistance like this then the cervical which which supplies the platysma this movement is 
uh, by the platysma. So let's check all these functions in this patient. Ask the patient to look towards the ceiling. There shouldn't uh, be the movement of the head. Stabilize the head of this patient with your hand. There should be the only movement of the eyebrows and the uh, frontalis muscle. Upper chhatal dekho zara. So check the frowning. Akhan zor di band karo. Zor di, hor zor di. Minu khollan nahi deniya tu si akhan. Thik? Moj hawa paro dekho is tarah. So that's enough. It's not mandatory to uh, check the function of the all nerve branches. You have checked the two or three branches. They are intact. It's okay. Uh, now at the end check the uh, other salivary glands enlargement of the other salivary gland why do we want to uh, uh, check or examine the rest of the salivary glands as part of the syndrome which is this syndrome Jogren syndrome or Paul Mikulik syndrome in these syndromes there is generalized involvement of the salivary glands and there are the features of xerostomia and dryness of the mouth, dryness of the eyes. You can ask the patient about these uh, features. Mouth ani khush kunda, akhand ani khush And there is and there is also no uh, no other salivary glands enlargement. So it means it is not a part of any syndrome. At the end, say thanks to the patient, cover the patient, and. Here the examination of the parotid and its relevant examination is complete. Now I will tell you that how to narrate the examination of the parotid swelling. Bo shukriya to Narration should be like there is a 5 into 5.5 centimeter swelling present in the parotid region on the left side of this face. It is uh, having normal overlying skin there is no discoloration visible veins pulsations or any previous surgery scar mark the swelling is normothermic and non-tender it is having smooth surface well-defined regular margins overlying skin is pinchable it is mobile in both planes with more mobility in the vertical plane uh, it is having uh, firm consistency and is non-compressible swelling the uh, movements of the ipsilateral temporomandibular joints are not restricted examination of the facial nerve and the cervical lymph nodes is unremarkable and the there is no other swelling or the hypertrophy of the rest of the salivary glands so that's all. Thank you.